What's up, guys? Uh, I just want to go over something real quick with you guys. Maybe it might help you. I just learned how to do it, so maybe uh, you guys, it may, it's been bothering you, maybe it hasn't. Whatever, it's a tip that might help you. Uh, it's for getting the, your B2S files for full DMD, and then you get it, and it's beautiful back glass, and then it's like a 4-3 portrait instead of being the full dmd you know where you can put your actual dmd inside it it's like the size of just for a four three regular dmd right so the way you fix that is you go to your quiet visual pinball tables folder right and you have a, fi a, a file right here b2s screen res identifier identifier.exe alright I'm going to double click this it's going to it's going to be hard I'm gonna, with one hand but just so you see what happens see how all these it, it launched all these uh, screens to the tables now I'm not going to do it again because I, I already did it but my full DMD if you look that's the way some of those three screen B2S files, that's where it puts how small it makes your full DMD. And then you can't put your actual DMD inside it. So a lot of times you'll go into the back class and you'll turn it off or you'll hide that, right? Right? So, but what you do is just use your mouse and, and you just, with your mouse, you just make this full screen until it's what you, you know, what you like. When it's at what you like full screen you'll come down over here and you'll click save as and it'll save it as screen res dot text okay I'm not gonna do it because I already I already did it all right so that screen res dot text file is gonna be in your visual pinball tables file so if I hit uh, S, it's going to be down. There, there it is right there. Screen res that text, right? Now, what you want to do is when you get those three screen B2 assets, let's, let's, oh, let's open a, a table that has one. Uh, I just installed Dune, uh, the updated version of Dune. All right, 1.1. That has, uh, this is the, this has, I'm using the B2S that has the tool screens where it's the full B2S on the backlist and then partial on the full DMD. So let's load up. I added the DAF, by the way, the yellow DAF. If you guys want, I can give you the code for that. But so yeah, there we go. Look, there's there's the nice back glass, right? But we're missing the whole like the third. You know, it's supposed to be a th a two screen back glass, and we're not getting to see that. It just. You know, it's like just this little cut-off piece. All right. So, what you have, what you do is you could turn that off if you want. Quit. Hold on. Legs out. Okay. But instead, what you do? Again, I'm trying to do this one hand there. It's tough. You go back to your visual pinball tables folder. All right. You find that back glass that, that that's the the two screen back glass. Where are you? Dune, dune, dune. There you go. So there's the back glass, right? Now I know that's two screen. You just saw it. It's but half of it was cut off, right? You right click on it. I'm sorry. Left click, then you right click.
and then you click edit screen res file now this comes up right just like before you you can make that bigger or to whatever size you want and if you see on the bottom now it's named for the dune table and you just hit save after you make that the full screen but there's a quicker way instead of doing that and having to like you know drag it make it this full screen size and stuff just keep a copy so like i i did that i made the i made it the full screen hit save and it saved it as Dune version 1.1 res, right? Now you just take that file, you drag it, and you drop it into your tables file, and there you go. It's see, so it, which has is with Dune right now. Now, the easy thing to do now is what I did. You copy this this file since you know it fills the whole screen and everything. And you paste it to your desktop or your, your a folder somewhere you can have access to it. And just rename it screenres.res. Right? And the reason why you do that is instead of having to go into, you know, uh, instead of having to go into another thing like we just did and, and drag and drop all the all the uh those windows let me take this out right you just copy this you make a copy of it you paste it into into the the tables folder here i'll do it i'll just i'll do it like this even though i already have it you copy it right that's the plain one that that i had saved It's pasted it into your Visual Pinball Tables folder. And you just got to name it the same thing that your back glass and your table is named, you know, after. So it's going to be Dune version 1.1. Copy, all right. Uh, screen res, where are you? Okay, and there's the screen res file that I just did. As you can see. And all you can do is Name it. We, what well, we just copied it as Dune. Say one one. Double click out of there. It should jump right with your other two. And then you see the three. There's your three files, and hopefully, <laughs> we'll we'll find out. <clears throat> but hopefully, when we launch VPX. I'm going to launch Dune now. Now we're launching Dune now with that .res file in the folder, in the tables folder. And it should fix that full screen DMD so that it's actually full screen and you can put the DMD inside it. That's why I keep a, uh, like a copy of that screen res here. And there you go, look at it. Already. Boom. And yes, I did the duff by myself, by the way. You know, yellow for spice, awesome. I know. I can teach you how to do that on another video. But uh, now look at the back glass. Remember what it was? It was. It, it didn't even say Dune on it. It was just like like a lower half. Uh, we, I, the back glass only came up to like like here where my arrow is. All this was missing. But now that you 
had that file, we put that red dot res file in it. It fit. It fits in the whole thing. And look, and now you got now you got a beautiful full DMD, full backlist, and then you got your DMD inside. And that's it. You're good to go. So for all those tables, man, I, there's a bunch of tables that I just closed that out. Like I got rid of that little, that third uh, thing because I, I, I just put it as hide because I didn't know how to fix it. So on my, like I said, on my desktop, I keep that res file right there. And then when, I, when a game comes in, I just make a copy, name it, the name of the game, and I put the this with the back glass and the actual table file into uh, into the tables folder and it just and it just works that's all you have to do so I hope that helps you get you get to have the that's how you fix that three screen uh, or two screen uh, b2s files that's how you do it so it makes it from that ugly little little thing to the full size of your DMD. And then you're good to go. All right? So I hope that helps some of you guys. Uh, and remember to keep keep that, keep that a copy of that screen res here. We're also going to have to always right-click on the back glass, hit screen res, edit, and then you'll have to drag the you know things up and then recut. You could do it that way. That's the long way of doing it. Or you could just copy, paste, and rename. Boom, done. All right, guys. I right, man. Peace.